raise awareness around recovery and that there is a way out and people don't have to use, you know. Right. How long are you clean? Um, eight months. Brilliant, mate. Yeah. Enjoying it? Loving it. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, it is. It is. You know, it's, you don't you don't need, you don't have to. The obsession to use has left me. Um, for today anyway and it's all good everything's good do you go to any meetings or that? I'll do any yeah I go to any meetings I'm working uh, for Acorn Recoveries we do uh, volunteering for a ramp group uh, but yeah keeping myself keeping myself busy yeah you know I have uh, spent 27 years in addiction I'm now clean and I'm here having a good time good man good um, I'm Callum yeah, I've um, been in recovery for almost three years now and um, I'm here to show my support for the uh, the recovery community and uh, have a have a good time, yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Preston. Preston, yeah. Uh, my name is Arjun. Uh, I'm one month clean. I'm an NA. Uh, I'm from Preston as well. Hello, you mate. Well done. I'm on for clean now. My name's Anthony, I've been in recovery for eight months and uh, I'm enjoying the day. Are you enjoying yourself today? I, I'm absolutely amazed. It's absolutely fantastic what, what I'm seeing today. It, uh, it's so empowering. Emotionally. Yeah, emotion, emotionally. And it's absolutely amazing. My name is Ian McLean, I'm from Peterborough and I'm here because I'm a recovering alcoholic and I'm one year, one day sober. Continue <laughs> <laughs> you having fun in there. I am actually, yeah, yes I am, thank you. I am. Hi, my name's Tracy, I'm a recovering alcoholic and I've been abstinent for two months and three weeks. Yay! Uh, my name's Carla, I'm a recovering crack and heroin addict and I've been cleaning off heroin for Eight months, clean up to crack for six days. <laughs> My name's Chris, uh, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I've been off alcohol now for four months. Yes, yeah, Chris! Hey, hey. Why not, mate? Right, we're from Oxford, we're from Turning Point, we're here to promote recovery and so it's visible in the community. And what a lovely day we're having. Come We've on, got Charlie. up here. Um, yeah, we're here to represent people getting through substance misuse in the whole country, the whole world. How long are you clean? Five years? Five years. Yeah, yeah, loving it, loving it. All right. Yeah, my name's Matt, come from Oxford, representing the Oxford uh, OX9, OX4, OX3. Loving the dream, living the dream. Yes. What's OX? My what's OX? My, my substance, misuse, everything. I'm an alcoholic, I'm an addict. How long are you um, I'm not, I'm still on script, producing my meds, so I'm on metazapine, uh, dropping two mil every t- every four weeks yeah it's fun isn't it i'm loving it mate yeah feel really a part of it beautiful i am um, i'm in recovery myself i'm part of the halton team my name's Anne, um and i just want people to have a really good day there's jeff jeff's another really long-standing member i was at durham last year and i just thought you know what if it's coming here i want to be part of it so yeah so halton have got on board and they've closed all the roads down which i think has been brilliant Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. And it's not raining. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, there'll be loads of bands on. There's meant to be. Oh, yeah, the choirs are starting now. Hooray! There is meant to be choirs up here. But we need to be. All I know is we need to head back down at 2 o'clock and get back to the stadium. All right? What, what radio wants it going? Well, you ask the questions, I'll give you answers. We're coming to Radio Scotland. Hi. Right. Just tell us your name. Eddie from Hull, Humberside. And who do you work for? I, I, I'm, I'm still in recovery at the moment. Recovery. Yeah. Recovery. Since May, so that's 18th yeah. of May, and it's been a big help as this. Life well, life. Yes, it's really well, it's saved me, saved my life really. Life, yeah. yeah, it's a lot. Big, I owe a lot, and because it's just really helped me so much, and it's good that there's something like this to to help people here. It does need, need, does need, and there is places, there is help out there, but it's finding it, and I found it, and that's the best thing. Yeah. And you were 
missile before you got into recovery, you were blind to it. Uh, before I was at, it was just your own. Yeah, I was. Uh, it was a uh, Blair. It was oh, uh, it, it's, it was a horrible nightmare, and it's. it's, it's I've got to get. I'm trying to look forward and get over it, and but it was a terrible experience, and I was oblivious to what it was but and it won't really it's not self-inflicted it's an illness and it's addiction and it's not that i planned it and i wanted it and, and it's a bad memory and i don't I want to forget about it and i want to move on with my life and have a life which it wasn't a life i didn't have a life it's a terrible it's a terrible people don't understand how addictive is addiction and it's addiction thing is a terrible thing it's easy to get up and to get on, but it's, it's and the life, the life you live is a terrible life, and you don't really want that life. And but then there is a light at the end of the sun, and you find the life, and, and you you don't want to go back to. It could happen to anybody. You don't know. You don't plan. It could happen to the fa- famous, and any, it could happen to anybody. So it's your own fault. It's not. It, it's an illness, and and you've just got to be strong and do it for yourself more than anybody because you've got to stand on your own two feet and that's the way it is all right Eddie. please meet you uh well i'm here to support the people who've been supporting me through my recovery how long are you clean i haven't had a drink for nine months now how did you do it oh it's through the sport groups i've been going through um the courses i've had me go to they got me into detox which got rid of all the physical shakes and stuff so just persevering at the moment What's the name of the banner that you're carrying? This is the We're All Ways to Recovery, we're based in recovery. Birkenhead and Morton, other places on the world. Okay. What's Do the name of the website? Service. Yeah, we're all dot service at cgl dot org dot uk. My name's Paul. Right. Where you from? I'm from uh, Rockford in Birkenhead. You're carrying the same banner, aren't you? Yep. Is it not heavy? Uh, it is a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Day. Yeah, I'm having a wonderful time. Is this your first recovery walk? Uh, it is, yep. How long are you clean? I've been clean since the 21st of August this year. Brilliant. Yep. Enjoying recovery? I am, yep. It's you the recover. best thing I ever did. Brilliant. Thanks very much. My name's Andy, Andy Hamilton from uh, Phoenix Beauties in the Wirral. Big shout out to all the people that are here. Get into recovery because it's the best form of recovery. Is this your first recovery walk? Yeah, yeah, it's my first one, yeah, and I can't believe how big it is, to be honest. How long have you been in recovery? About oh, five days. Five days, are you? Brilliant, man. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been in recovery before? Not this type of recovery. Detoxed a lot, a few Detoxed times, time. but this is the first time in recovery, recovery like so. Um, my name's Dominic Dake, and I'm, one of, I'm, a, I'm an identical twin, funny enough, he's oh, down there, that. yeah. Um, but actually, he's been to every recovery walk. I went my first recovery walk in Glasgow, and our mum and dad are both from Glasgow. And it sort of means a lot to us because we went to my dad's shop in Possel, and he gave us a list to the recovery walk on the green. And that was the first time he'd seen us both clean. Sadly, he died that year. But every time we come to walk, we always remember him. He loved recovery. He, he was so happy that we found recovery. So we've got a little band now, it's called it, it's, it's all about me. And uh, we'll be playing today at our free oh, yeah. UMS, so we, when we'll be up there. Um, How long have you been clean? I'm, I'll be about six years, three months now, and my twin will be eight years in November. See if anybody's listening to this and they're in active addiction, how do they get any recovery? Yeah, well, the song I, um, I'm going to play today is called The Newcomer. And the chorus has shown me the way to go. You just look, turn up, ask for help. Someone who's been there before you. Listen to what they're doing. Copy what they're doing. Mirror them. You know, everyone started in the place where you're at now. That's where everyone started like that. You know, my journey started looking at the canal thinking everyone who knew me would be better off if I was in there dead. You know, I know now today I can look up and I know the world's a better place because I'm in it and that's because of all the people who's helped me along the way so ask for help that's what I could say and whoever said you can't have fun without drugs and drink they were lying thanks pal you know I believe 
um, whether it's a disease, an illness, a condition, affliction, it, as long as you know it's something, and as long as you can identify you've got it, and you're willing to do something about it, that's all that matters to me. And it's horses for courses, then I think people should find a coat that fits them. Yeah. And you know, someone to take a bit of the 12 steps and a bit of this and a bit of that, you know, and it works for them. I, I can't, I can't um, disagree with that. So, you know, that, I believe it, I'm a little bit more open-minded now. For others, I know what works for me and I do that, yeah. yeah. But it's great, stuff like this is like where everyone comes together, you and me, and this shows you that there's a lot more. I've brought some newcomers here with me today, and they're just blown away thinking I didn't know this, this many people was in recovery. So I don't, unless you're in it, you don't, do you? Uh, what, what do you want me to say? What's your name? <laughs> uh, right, my name's Neil Moores. Um, I've been in and out of recovery for over six and a half years. Um, I'm 21 months clean now from all minor mood altering substances. Um, I work in supported housing, you know, so I'm there helping people to move forward. I know supporting houses. What is the supported house? What the name of the company? Uh, recovery Homes CIC. Yeah. So we've got uh, various properties in Preston, Warrington, Oslo Twistle, and then we've got a few other areas coming on board as well. So you're having a good day. Oh yeah, I'm having a is lovely day. Recovery walk. Uh, it is actually, yeah. Right. There's there's been a few that I've missed. I missed Manchester. I didn't fancy Durham, only because I didn't fancy the journey. To be fair, you know. Um, yes, this is the first one, and yeah. So you know you won't be going to the Sydney recovery walk next week. I don't think I'll make Sydney next week, no. As much as it sounds a lovely idea. <laughs> thanks very much. All right, thanks very much. Charlie, and I've been in recovery now uh, five months. Five months, yeah. yeah. Having a good day? Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant, man. Okay, thanks. Oh, and I've escaped that one. Ah, uh, my name's John, I'm 12 months clean next week. Next week, well, yeah. Are you enjoying the day, are you? Um, well, yeah, I'm living life on life terms. Now I'm doing stuff different, sober, Aye. than what I did when I was yeah. in addiction. Aye. And is this your first time in recovery? Oh, yeah, 31 years in addiction, yeah, Aye. and this is this is my first time, Aye. and that's it. I'm not, no plans on relapses or anything. Aye. One day at a time? One day at a time. Aye. Steve. Hold on, on you go. All right, my name's Steve. I've been in recovery two years. Aye. Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself? I love it. Is this your first time in recovery? First time in recovery. Been in addiction since I was 11. I'm 46 now. 46, aye. 46, yep. So what do you do? When you, do you go to meetings? Um, or? I work for the Amy Winehouse Foundation. Is that a volunteer foundation? At the moment it's voluntary, but I'm hoping to gain employment there, yeah. yeah. So anybody seeking recovery and they're in active addiction, how would they go about doing that? Um, well, just come and see me. Come and see you? Come and see me, yep. I'm based in Warrington. Do you want my number? No, oh, just the address. All right, the address, 10 Weavers Fold. Right, okay. Yep, look me up, Steve Bolton, and uh, I'll put you there. How long have you been clean? I've been clean a year. Brilliant. A year next week. Um, 21 years in addiction. Um, used a bit of everything. A lot of prison, a lot of other things. Today, productive member of society. Um, showing that we've all got something to offer as well. Um, we're very capable people. We've... Uh, many attributes that just need to be nurtured. Um. Uh, my name's Anthony Tull, I uh, come from Coventry. Uh, I'm a volunteer for Coventry Drug Recovery Community and I'm a volunteer for Aquarius. Uh, I've been clean since uh, January the 2nd this year. Uh, stopped taking all drugs. Uh, now the only thing I've got left is tobacco as my own voice. Uh, my story of recovery is that uh, the police kicked my door down in uh, just before Christmas took my medication off me which was cannabis uh, I've been smoking cannabis all my life since uh, I was 14 so 44 years off cannabis feels like I've come out of a, a coma you know and uh, yeah life's changed you know what I mean? uh, how, long you, how long are you clean? Uh, I'm clean since 2nd of January so like you know what I mean that's 8 months really yeah. 8 months, yeah, months yeah 9 months you know what I mean Brilliant. but I'm not caught in uh, I'm up in court in October, so I'm looking at a prison sentence for for my uh, for my drug abuse. You know what I mean? And I did, you know what I mean? I did party. I, I liked to party. Travelled the world partying, did all the raves, did everything else. Yeah. 
and on my journey I've lost so many friends that have like uh, died through misuse of drugs through the lack of education uh, I was one of these lucky people that uh, my mother's an old hippie so I was brought up with the dangers around 